Right, so you move with uh, was, you interact with E, that's fine, and spacebar. You run with shift, you fast forward dialogue, I don't think we have to do that, and you full screen with F11, okay? You can actually play this just with one hand, that's nice. Lele, I don't want, I don't want to. Okay, well, I do. Just go over and... Uh, you... What? I thought she's a friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. Okay. We'll get in trouble. It's by design, so you can, what, jerk off while you're playing. Good morning, Ashley. Who the fuck's Ashley? Ugh. All right. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. I thought it was Lele. What the hell? Inside the cabinet is nothing. You're used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Alone trash pack, nothing worth mentioning inside. Okay. Junk and unpaid bills. Huh. So, the freezer is completely empty. What the fuck? So we have to leave, probably. I'm assuming. Because the cupboards are empty. Mm. Front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. What the fuck? The balcony door is locked. Huh. An alarm clock is ticking away. There is an old drawing in the drawer. Andy and Lele and the very, very quiet. Is Andy and Lele in the very, very quiet in all capital letters? That's weird as shit, but all right. No, sorry, it's Andy and Lele in the very, very quiet. As your original vision clearly intended it. Your artistic abilities have not increased since. Oh. The fuck? He's dead? Andrew is asleep. You can't eat him. But why not? I mean... This is where your older brother piles your trash. It's already been scavenged several times. But wait. What is that? You got a can of tomatoes. There we go. Uh, uh, I really should be going to bed and I have to see how this goes. <laughs> This does actually seem our amazing. You should sell that to your brother. You'll wake Andrew up, I guess. Oh, what a going thing. He's awake now. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Hmm. Not the reaction you were hoping for. <clears throat> Ta-da! All right. We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think you should hold on to it a little longer. Hmm. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. Oh, okay, well. See, I could was doing everything for others. <laughs> True, I guess. Um, <gasps> I live in a den of snakes. All right. Ah, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. Are we already, like, this is already sounding very sexual to me. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine. Let's eat them then. 
Screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Like, is that actually going to help, though? Good day. Are you still alive in there? Hello? If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living either. Ha! I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye. What the hell? No, wait! Wait, wait, come back! He doesn't, of course. God damn it! Well, we've got tomatoes. Huh. Well, it can tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. I, I'm assuming so, Tom Zara. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. No salt, though. You've used all this... Wait, you, you've used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. But salt's not actually going to help with that. Salt's actually going to help you absorb more water, but never mind. We'll, we'll go with that, I guess. Well, how is it? You want me to do a better female voice? Like, how the fuck am I supposed to do a better female voice? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms, and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. I don't know what the fuck you want from me. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? Wanna go take a peek? No. But I'll come along if you do. Well, all right. Uh, yeah, sure I can. Where would be the best place for my cam? Over here. Is that a good place for the camera? You should read to us more often. Oh, fuck you guys. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch! Got balcony key. The fuck, he had the key all along? Hmm, can't really see squat from here. You contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Ah, oh, he's so, he's no fun. Guess you'll have to set something up to cross. Um, an ashtray. There are no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. But I feel like, why can't I just use the fucking table? Right, something to cross with. Now, what does this game view as something to cross with, though? Your hopes and dreams exactly where they belong? <laughs> Holy shit. Dark, bro. Get a trick, then? Yeah, but I, I mean... Oh my god, it's white noise. How thrilling. You wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this. No, what I'm finding very annoying is that fucking sound. Oh, crap! Are you alright? These goddamn DIY shelves, I swear.
Your parents have fucked on this bed. Wow. This feels a little bit edgy for the sake of being edgy rather than like, you know, actually just being edgy. You can't cross this as it is. Yeah, but I can't fucking cross it in any way, shape or form. I'm not trying to cross it. A blunt object. Dude, okay, this is getting annoying. Like, how the fuck? Yeah, look now in, like, in different directions just to find... Remember when they still gave us food and stuff? Good times. I bet they don't do that anymore because they're scared to open the door. They could still squeeze something in through the mail slot. Like what? Pasta? Like, like anything. Are they just, are they just going to let us die here? At this point, I'd be surprised if they didn't. Like, this whole situation is going to be a PR nightmare, I'm sure. I wonder if they'd rather we die than talk about it. Cheery. They should come in and shoot us, they know something. Get it over with. That would look very natural, I guess. I guess. Dude, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, how do you... I've clicked on everything that could potentially be... How dare you laugh at my artistic genius? The garbage you hold on to. Hey, I was proud of this one. Still am. Wow, it is still the best thing you ever drew. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. No, I'll figure it out myself. I just need to, like... need to figure out what the game would allow for like what is and isn't interactable because it doesn't seem to have everything as being interactable oh crap look at me i found another room a mop okay it's the cleaning closet inside of various supplies, such as trash bags. Maybe I'll take a shower. Not right now, you won't. Oh, fuck you then. Detergent drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. Shit. <laughs> the washing machine. Dude, I'm, I could have sworn the table would have worked for this, though. It's funny, I watched the streamer that made this game go viral, and now it's infected the WoW community as well. Tiger Nacht, how you doing, bro? They need to use that cleaning closet. Hey. Well, I've, I've done the cleaning, cleaning closet thing, and it didn't do shit for me, so I don't know what the fuck to do. Just some dirt. See, the thing is, it's only space bar that you can interact with, right? But we're not looking for stuff to eat. Mother won't pick up no matter how many times you call. We've also tried to order food a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. Sure is nice to see Akka's reaction to this. Dude, right now I'm just getting fucking annoyed at this. Is what, what is happening. Because I can immediately see a bunch of things that I could actually build in order to get over this. Like this fucking table would get me over this, but it just says a blunt object. And I don't know how to pick it up or if I can even pick it up. How is this? Oh, just the items there. Wait, that might actually be a good idea. Controls. Let's see. Yeah, no. 
I, I mean, I know it's the ashtray. The problem is getting over this fucking balcony with it. What about a rope? Would a rope work? But where there's a rope up there. I see the rope. Use the guy who is getting annoyed because he's not eaten brisket in months. I had brisket last night. Tatiana, how you doing? Wait, I could use the shelf. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't look at the fucking shelf before. Well, I should have just done that from the beginning. This would have been so much easier. Take down the wooden plank. Yep. Hmm. Oh, demons from hell. Hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice. And then he doesn't say anything for a while. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. All right. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? So when are they eating each other then? Ah, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Meh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I'm not gonna lie, the narration in this game the dialogue is perspoor i always have to do everything around here yeah yeah woe is you it is Where the fuck do i find batteries vibrator that's dirty laundry so where's your vibrator? You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. Easy. Got batteries. That was easy enough. It will get better. How so? I've got the remote right here. No, that's okay. I think I'll just push the buttons on the TV after all. I can see you have the batteries. Just hand them over. Nope. I've decided I'll hold on to them. We might need them later. For what exactly? Why are you being difficult about this? I am not. I'm taking on the Herculean task of operating the TV myself. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for, continue, for your continued consideration to the public safety. Batteries are still good. Yeah, I mean, the batteries are forever. That's all for today. Cheerio! I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at Hey Hotel for a bit. I thought they said you should stay at home. I didn't drink anything. Mom! Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Wow, what 
a mother. All right, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker. Here we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay at home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll, go, you'll get to see what happens if not. Wow. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? Dude, I have a feeling whoever made this game has a very weird relationship with their parents. Been watching the children during a demon zombie apocalypse? Dude, is this a fucking zombie apocalypse? What? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. What a terrible fucking mother. After reminiscing all night, you wake up as one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Really? Now? Picked up some laundry. Okay. Wait, am I not throwing the trash away? You're not going to get this clean with your bare hands? Okay, fine. Washing... Needs more laundry. Motherfucker. Okay, so we need more laundry. Where do we find more laundry, though? Okay, haven't you had uh, the odd temporary urge to clean the house? Never in my fucking life, bro. Yawn. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy? Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it. Do we even have any detergent left? Yeah, we do. I'm assuming that's all of the cleaning I have. Like, all of the clothes that I can pick up. You're missing the detergent. Motherfucker. You run the laundry? Now what else could, could you clean? Do I need a bucket for this? Or is this fine? Mop the dirt. It's usually people with control issues that have the urge to clean. Aka does not strike me as a person with a ton of control issues. Yeah, no, I've never in my entire life had the hey. urge to fucking clean. Um, Iliumper, how you doing? Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate you. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, the only time I've ever cleaned is when I absolutely had to. And then it wasn't an urge as much as me forcing myself and being very angry at myself for forcing myself. So yeah, no, that shit would absolutely not fucking fly. Okay, so... You returned all the books to the shelf, okay. You're feeling dizzy. What? Oh, shit. Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. Wait, is Ashley dead now? Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones. That's... That there's been supply shortages in the quarantine household. 
Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administer um, administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story. A brand new art museum will be... So their way of dealing with this is just basically to kill all the people. Hello? Of course. What is it? Just if the new tone of voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Yeah, it is harsh. Benarelio, it is. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or, I, I can try talking to her, but... No, or, or I mean, yes, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry, I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you don't... They and Ashley and... We've had the time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it then. Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. Although I don't really see why I should be held accountable for... Ugh. Sorry. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you. Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined. Or because she found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Really? Maybe he's sleeping too. Nope. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Holy shit, this story just keeps getting darker, bro. Hey, me too. People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. <coughs> Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help? I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Think they'd bring me food if I got... No. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever. It was just a thought. Jackass. Dude, I, I can already see where this is going. They're going to fuck each other, probably. And tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway, but you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours, maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully revitalized and bursting with energy.
<sighs> All right. Oh my fuck, we're dead again. Oh shit. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door, or next it'll be me banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though, I guess we'll see. And see, you did. We probably didn't get food either. Sorry, Inset Game, you guys are true DJs. Pretty much, it seems like it. That absolutely nothing was delivered. Of course. Huh. Hey. Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. Been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger? You'd think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Huh. Who cares? Me, Ashley. I care. Well, I don't. Care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not as it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from the starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race. You. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not. Though I appreciate your eagerness to join me, but it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pause. Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together, and with such force our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well, we've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked. And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance, not romance, I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... Blasting his favorite ritual music again. Oh my God. Again? I wish he just... Shit, he got it right, I think. You feel like you should check up on that? Yeah, why not? My lord, you've come. And you're, uh, a little smaller than I imagined. I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What? Do you offer human? Oh, um, I I don't have much to give right now, but if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. vision and you cannot see what, what's happening by the time your vision returns the entity has vanished on the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist so uh am i already delirious or did you see that too do we uh 
do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That, that's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has that we can eat. Woohoo! Burglary time! Random introvert, how you doing, bro? Everyone knows you don't go summoning demons before you get an offering. <laughs> Shut up and let's get in there. Doran taunts you from the other side of the cross. The box is full of useless junk. Hey! I wonder if the blunt object will work. Yep. Random introvert, thank you so much for uh, the follow, man. Really appreciate you. Finally, that fucking music. Holy crap. On the counter sits some cooking equipment. Both the fridge and freezer are empty. We're gonna eat him, aren't we? The bathroom smells of feces, and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him? I... Isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah. I was just making an observation. Ah, but we can't. If we do eat them, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though? And before that... You're going to tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly? Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh, um, yeah. All right then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like I would not be able to do this. So, you get the arms, and I'll handle the legs. Epic Thulu, take care of yourself, bro. First, you chop off the cultists. You, we can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No. Can't you get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile. I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. I know exactly where those bags are. Three birds solo, then resort to cannibalism. Yeah, I'd, I'd just kill myself, I think. I don't think I could eat another human being. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap! I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over? I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. Yeah, see. If anyone happens to be looking out their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags. Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! <laughs> Good God, no. Don't me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. 
All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Dude, I, I feel like this is so wrong on so many levels. You place the severed limbs in the freezer. Now, which one do you want to eat? All right, time to cook. You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Just thinking about this is disgusting. From what I hear, what do you hear, Roaming Firebat? Right. So what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Munch, munch. No. What? Oh, you already... Okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um, right. Andrew takes a bite out of your... I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. Swallow. All of it. Well, well. How was it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, all right. Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Dude, I'd throw up. I'd throw up. I, I would be like, fuck that, I'm out. They like, can't do this. Good boy. I'm so proud. Dude, the sexual innuendo is insane here. Like, do they realize that these are brother and sister? Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left. But what do you think I should try next? Uh, I don't know. Maybe coriander? All right, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night, night. Yeah. Good night. You fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. What? Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was my friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross. No. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Dude, what the fuck? is going on here like what the fuck is going on here what the fuck am i playing <laughs> oh yeah you're a girl too what's that supposed to mean <laughs> somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind or as a person for that matter screw you i am the most personist lady in the world so anyway I'm going to take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously? Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. <laughs> you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. 
I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder of how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Hmm. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray! You're the best. Today's episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Bitch in a Box. One day, you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play. And when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. What is taking him? He wouldn't have gotten our plans, would he? Finally! Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise! I want to hang out too! Oh? I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No? Why? Hehehe, <laughs> just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come out and hang out with a boy. No way. She thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here? Ashley. Divine intervention. What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. The drop off on the other side of the window is too high. Though, I wouldn't mind convincing to jump anyway. To maybe twist her ankle, maybe break her neck. Is something wrong? Nah, but we can't go in this way. A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful to us in this situation. I sure can. As in help us get in the warehouse? Okay, yeah, in that case, no. Ugh, Lele, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing. Let's keep looking. Dude, this girl is nuts. <laughs> Got a hammer. For fucking what? What am I doing with a hammer? Why this nail? Why this nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Why'd they nail this metal thing? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect! Tear it open! What? I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Huh? Even though it's this flimsy? Yes. I... I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? I'm going to pull out the <clears throat> Wow, it sure is <coughs> kind of dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Uh, Grofal, you realize that you're saying that about a brother and a sister, right? Like, if anyone is going to find out how this girl is in bed, um, then it's going to be her brother. And that shit is fucking disgusting. Like, something is very wrong if that's what you're thinking about. <sighs> you're such a kid. Huh? Andy wants to play too. Y you do? What? Oh, yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I... 
I'll be it. I'm going to count to 10. 100. Count to 100, at least. Okay, okay. One, two. All right. Let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course. She said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lele. You promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. This girl, this girl is so fucking nuts. Oh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't? Place a stick or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No. Well, if she's Hunston's side, I doubt she'd have the leverage to... Ready or not, here I come. Oh, crap. She counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. <laughs> Let's hide. Hide. Where the fuck do I hide? Where do you go to stick anyway? And he picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this will do. Is gaming? Holy shit. Hero effect. Yep. Apparently I'm gaming. Although I'm not entirely sure what the hell this game is. That is accessory to attempted murder, I would say. Dude, this game, I don't think... We've just eaten a person, so I don't think it matters. Well... What do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No. Who do you think, dumbass? Um, she's fine, I guess. Found you. Both of you. Who hides in the same spot? Idiots. <laughs> I... It was my spot first. Then you're it. No way. Andy stole my spot. So he is it. Yes, yes. I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. Hee <laughs> hee. My hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Um, okay. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo. Who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred! Oh, shoot. He's coming. Hurry, hurry. Uh, oh, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the car. You hop. Huh? What was that? Hee <laughs> hee. I got you now. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. <coughs> this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up! She's putting up a fight. <coughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> is she alright? Jay Wild, how you doing, bro? She asks if she's pretty. It's. Wait. What I mean about women being jealous about other women? I mean, Vendredio, yeah, but I mean, it is just a game, right? And I never said that girls aren't jealous of other girls. <coughs> Please, I. Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. Shh, she's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. <coughs> Come on, just let her out. What? You'll believe her over me? It's not it's really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? <coughs> Everyone likes her better. But you like her better, too. But everyone does. I already know. <laughs> I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. What the? It's your fucking brother, you crazy bitch. No, oh, come on. I already told you I don't want... And... Bet... <gasps> bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's... I mean... Maybe she did, but... 
It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I, I like you better, Lele. Prove it, liar. I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Not even my own brother picks me over her. I already... I knew it already. Did I just... Did I not just say... La, 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 la. Talk sure is cheap. God damn it. <coughs> there. Are you happy now? Hee <laughs> hee. Yes. Just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. You hear that? You get to stay there until morning. No, please. <coughs> Ashley, let me out, please. <coughs> Ashley, wait, don't <coughs> go. Ash, please. Ashley! Ashley, are you awake? I am now. Um, okay. What is it? N nothing, it's just... God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine. Just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. So, I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died. Ah, uh, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah. I... We wouldn't have to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What, what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh, whoosh. There goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First, they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Mm. There, there, there. You know, I... I couldn't get, the, get his head off. Uh-huh. Like, it, it didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I just... Like, I cutting around and then pulled it off like some plant. I, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's... Come here. Dude, I am absolutely convinced that the girl who made this game has a brother that she wants to fuck. Like, this is a game she made so that her brother plays it and realizes, so oh, shit, my sister is hot for me. Like, what kind of relationship does this brother and sister have with one another? This is wild. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmentalize. Kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. <laughs> Ashley! 
<laughs> Andrew? What is it, Andrew? Andrew. I'm sorry, but what the fuck? Oh my goodness, what the fuck? Andy. I... I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wah, wah. Mommy, the big bad... The... Wait, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whole mouth. Make me, you little bitch. <sighs> Forget this. Hey, Andy. Remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy's and Lele's quest for something or another. Remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along? For now, until we're out of this crappy situation, then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like, I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like, we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Ah, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well? Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My God, I don't love you that much. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking like, what the fuck is this game? Oh my, what is going on? Why would you make this? No, You make me want to kill myself. Too bad that diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. Why wouldn't you make this? Because I don't want to fuck my siblings. Where the hell is Andy? Hey there. Good morning. Whatcha up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Great. Given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. The chick in the crate? I think she's dead. The world a better place, one awkward smile at a time. Code anxiety, but does this actually make the world a better place? I mean, the friend in the box 
isn't here. I... I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here, demons prefer human souls. So, obviously, it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. So where the hell do I get? I got one candle. I got two candles. Done! What now? Now we... Still alive and kicking, are you? You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Hmm. Yeah, hi. Hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyway. Fine, I'll check it after my rounds. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh, shit. He's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough! Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No! Go before he notices we're not home and keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get that corpse if you don't get going already. You get to be that corpse. Get the mob. Uh, wait, I found... I thought I had the fucking mob. What happened to my mob? Ashley, the warden is coming. Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. The fuck? Wait, but how the fuck are you supposed to? Oh, shoot. Okay, fuck me. See, if you go here, he sees you. All oh, right, you heard in the closet succession. Greetings and salutations. Uh -huh. Anybody home? Oh, great. Another suicide. What the? How did you get in here? What the fuck? <sighs> Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. 
You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on, Bing, Lele. Let's go play. Jeez. I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. Ha <laughs> ha! So, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah. We'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. I? Oh, looky here. Got a key to room 405. At last, you unlock the door. Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse you had, we had for eating that other guy, just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh? I'm sorry? Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But, what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah? Obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see? I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse! I'm, okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes, exactly! Yeah? Fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. And it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? It's... I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm. All good. Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. The art reminds me of something like a TV show. Can't place it. If DeviantArt was a game, Spellcross, how you doing, bro? Xanarath, I, I will admit... The dialogue is very bad. It's not good. It feels like one of those games that they tried to they tried to go for like seriously edgy stuff, like they wanted to make it as edgy as possible. And it ends up sounding more like a, a teenage drama that was made by someone with fucking Tourette syndrome. Or like someone with a mental deficiency. Because it just... Yeah, it doesn't come across as like anything... It, it sort of comes across as what you would expect fan fiction to sound like. That's, that's what this comes across as. I guess. Okay, finally. 
So, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mum or dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls or come fling food up to our balcony. Would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is, no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ah! But it's alright, because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. Ha 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 ha. All right, all right. Let's get the hell out of here already. The characters, ooh, yet? No, not yet. So we have a key for room 405. 401, 402, 403. This is ours. Fuck off. Nice. The door if the surface is locked. It's Some not emergency always about exit the, this uh, thing. Well, sometimes it's about the uh, uh, trying to do the feet. I mean, you could probably try, I don't know. Some emergency this is. Okay, so we can only go into 401, I guess. Got the key to room 302. Um, I'm gonna need this one. Looky! They've got a little surveillance camera. Oh god, are we on it? No. Looks like it's recording the second floor. Let me see. Right, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. No. He only had a key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Oh. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah. They probably work in pairs of two. It's not that they have anything to do, else than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. For the fourth floor. Nice. Half-eaten cup of noodles. Note on the fridge reads, Notice, from now on, AB types won't be given supplies except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important, stop asking. It's the toilet, there's nothing of interest inside. Various documents detailing selling and acquiring of organs. Oh shit! Bro, they're harvesting organs here? I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, goddammit. A note on the bed. Two times A, one times B. Note on the bed. One times O, it's been crossed over. This is all it took to keep us in. A wooden board. It's okay, Andy. I don't have much I uh, muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Ah, uh, whatever. What's this slip of paper say? The paper slip taped on the door reads two times AB. What's that supposed to mean? Don't know, don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. Unblock the door. Alright. The elevator is out of order because of course it is. Go to third floor. Hey! Hold up! Don't you dare come any closer! Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out! Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Uh-huh. 
But don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food. I can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely? Oh, shit. Ashley! Fuck you! <laughs> Get out! Both of you! Hey! Did I give my permission to go there? Okay, this lady is nuts. Well, that was something. How come we get such different treatment? Why don't why don't I get food? I guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not. But you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second water comes in and shoots us. Oh, this is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Well, if we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got us a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? It doesn't really tell me what the note says, Cecius or Dredeman. At least if I, when I typed, when I tapped on the door, it just opened the door. Argonac, I thought that's what I'm doing. Wife and how are you doing? Beat me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. All right. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Come on. So ugly am I? That I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house? Oh, yeah. Okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. This brother and sister has the weirdest fucking relationship. What's the next part of the ritual say? So what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. They seem to work. But all you find is a walkie-talkie. Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one, which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal. At that point, we're screwed anyway. Spellcross, th this brother and sister's relationship is, uh, let's just say fuck. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this? I have the demon E.T. soul. That's... Not a bad blood idea. For the blood god. Two birds with one stone? Though he'll come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Ah, uh, let me think. Thought walkie talkie. While he's at it, you dip your fingers into the dead water's blood. Got blood. Have an idea oh let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie and uh how are we going to make her do that you know how ah all right then let's go convince her. or was there something else that still needed to be set up just lighting the candles and turning on the audio but I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. If 
Big one said, how you doing, bro? Those blurbs are not worth 5k. Uh, Spellcross, I set it up originally. I should actually change some of the pricing on the blurbs now. We set it up originally very high because there were people with hundreds of thousands of channel points. Um, and I still said I need to lower that price once people have spent a bit of their fucking channel points. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll change the pricing on those. So now, how do we convince her? You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off me! What's going to happen now? Is that you'll come, you'll coo into this walkie talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I, I don't understand. You only need to understand. We'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please. I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie talkie on. Hello? Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. Ha 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 ha. Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um, he <laughs> nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cakes. You cut the conversation there. All right, good. Let's go. I'll let go of you now. And what do you think she'll do? I, I won't do anything, I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Lele, catch. Andrew throws you something. <laughs> Got a lighter. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. And then what? To finish the ritual, you must light the candles and turn on the hey. music. Oh, yeah. Something is here! Who... Who are you? I can't see. You are asking me my name? Human? Uh... What do you offer? Uh... Yikes. Did I mess up? I don't want to pay for his name. I'm here. I mean, it's kind of dark. Uh, and I'm not doing this with that kind of music on. Let's... Shock the warden reaches for his gun. Uh, him. I, I offer him. W what the... Ah! So, uh... Uh, well, how is it? Human with tar-colored soul, I give you this. Got unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. The entity has left. And you're still alive, unlike either of the Wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask for a favor. 
It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its demon pockets. But no matter. The warden is dead. And if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'd be cool as hell. You decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently vicious, viscous, bitch black mace. Guess you already knew that. Yeah, you are a fucking crazy person. Got keep the second floor, got a gun. What the f At last! Time to shoot Andy. Just kidding! <laughs> I probably shoot the lady, though. Alright. Uh... What the f Sadly, your plans of, sp of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Dude, this brother and sister has fucking problems, bro. They have some issues. They killed her? Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason? What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Mm -hmm. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while Iris getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that a lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priority straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Blow it, blow it, <laughs> blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I, no, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend drum dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. So it really was you. Yeah. And all I did was weed out the, the quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here, where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. Ha! Ah, and I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I... Fuck! What a prime example of your... You... Just... You! Ha ha ha! You would! You would! I know it already! I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do a thing. I can. Just for you. You know. I have just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call, just like it was way back when. What? No! Screw you, Andrew! 
Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see. If you'd have listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? <sighs> of course we are, just... Forget this. Can we just go? Just... What? Just... Go. No. Answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh no, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultist. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what? Andy... Don't. You chose to lock in that crate where the fucking cunt choked. Ha 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 Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy. My poor Andy. Bitch, this lady is off her fucking rocker, man. This lady is absolutely off her rocker. So, that just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me. Me. You backpedaling fuck of a brother. You chose me. You did. You did. Ack. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. Ha ha ha. You won't. You can't because I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and you can't take it. I'm the only one you can, who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like... Did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you. Can we go? I'd like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you'll just throw another foot later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene, too. Yeah. So I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already say, there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah... Okay, I got nothing, but I'd like to go with you very much. Though, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If, the, if it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. <coughs> I don't give a shit about it. I'm glad she choked. I know you. No one knows it was us. So what does it matter? As long as it's just us. Are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? 
though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Ha-ha, that's right! Our quest continues. What do we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay. But I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so... spineless. And I hate Lele, like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later. Ha ha ha. Let's get out of here, Andrew. This is one weird port intro if I've seen. Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? Like, does she have anything on her? Data stone. Your happiness is immeasurable. I already checked. There's nothing in there. Snooping around a lady's bathroom, were you? I have to wash her blood off me. Oh, right. Excuse accepted. Thanks. This game has an impressive amount of art assets for a visual novel. Dude, this game is wild as fuck. Like, seriously, this game is just beyond wild, actually. No, fuck that. Oh, uh, we'll probably play some more at some point. Because I need to see how this thing ends. I'm now I've I've <laughs> I'm so far into this now that I need to see how this ends. Um even though I can't tell you how much I don't Like, the game is weird, right? Because it's not, it's actually not a good game. Like, it's actually not a good game. And yet, you kind of want to see what happens next. Disco option, that's a good way of putting it. It's a very good way of putting it. See where it all leads? Yeah, that's why we're probably going to finish it again. Or play it and finish it on stream again. But for now, I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to go grab some food. It's already 10 o'clock in the, in the evening for me. I really need to get some food in me. Um, I really appreciate all of you uh, for coming out, for hanging out with me, for spending your time with me. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for choosing the Echo Train for your entertainment. It's been an absolute pleasure. Officially, I will be back on uh, Monday for more streaming. Unofficially, I can't tell you yet. I, I don't know what the weekend is going to bring. My brother is flying out to Cape Town on Saturday. So I'm probably going to spend some time with him. Uh, might stream a little tomorrow. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But officially, I will be back on Monday for another stream so i really appreciate all of you for hanging out 